Hello everyone, I've decided to pull out some acrylic paints for this week's Let's Get Arty Challenge in the Facebook group, The Mixed Media Emporium. And for anybody that wants to follow along with us, I'll leave the link to the group in the description box below. Now, some of these paints are starting to dry out, namely these ones here. These are Ducraft Artiste um, fabric paints. The colours are absolutely gorgeous, but there's only a tiny amount left in these jars. So I want to use them up. I've also pulled out some Payne's Grey. Um, this colour here which is uh, matte turquoise and a gold as well and I've got two um, pieces of watercolour paper this is just um, an A4 letter um, size piece of paper that I've cut in half to give me two different um, backgrounds I'll say, I might not share both of these with you so I am just going to start off by putting some of each of these colours of paint onto this board here this is one of the cheap acrylic um, chopping boards Instead of wasting the paint as I'm applying it to my palette, I am just going to wipe this off onto my piece of watercolour paper. You can see I've already got a little bit of colour down on my piece of watercolour paper and these are my paints. The orange um, is quite thick and lumpy so we'll see how we get on with that. But I am just going to start off by just spreading some paint onto my background and I don't want to overthink this. I'm going to keep twisting my paper round um, as well. Like this, I'm going to mix the colours, the colours up. That fluorescent orange is just absolutely beautiful. Um, it would be such a shame to let these go, go to waste. So let's try and use things up. I haven't got my paints out for such a, a long time because I've been so obsessed with collage, but it feels good to be working with bright and colourful um, colours. Let's have some of this gorgeous blue as well. Don't overthink this. Now, if you want to try this, all I would say to you is just really have a think about the colours that you are using um, because, you know, you could very easily sort of end up with a horrible muddy mess if you don't choose your colours wisely. So, you know, just really think about the colours you might want to use if you want to give something like this um, a try. But hopefully we'll end up with something absolutely wonderful. And I'm just really spreading the paint out into um, thin layers, which kind of all, let's add some of this, some, this lighter blue as well. This is another gorgeous colour. Um, just look how these colours are starting to mingle as well. We've got some really interesting um, effects just by not um, overthinking what we're, what we're doing here. Oh, this brings back memories. I used to love doing plate pages like this all the time back um, in my early mixed media days. I want to add some Payne's Grey as well, just for a bit of contrast. Let's add, add some, of, some of this. And, you know, you might think, oh, my goodness me, what um, what is she doing? That looks um, really ugly. It will look absolutely beautiful by the time we've finished, I promise. Or at least I hope it will. I haven't done this for such a long time. Maybe I've um, lost my knack and I've forgotten how to do it. <laughs> we'll soon find out, won't we? Um, I want to add some gold as well. Let's add a bit of gold. Why, why not? Twisting it round um, again. Twisting your paper just gives you different um, angles. It just makes it look more interesting. And my advice is that when you get something that you absolutely love, stop. You can see it's um, starting to go a bit muddy here. So I'm just going to wipe that off. This is just um, chip shop paper that I'm using to um, catch my excess paint. But I want that bit of, um, of grunge. And so I am just going to keep keep going until I've got um, something that's um, that's pleasing to to my eye. I've given that um, a bit of a dry, and I want to try and add a little bit more um, of the the gold. Let's cover up some of that um, orange. Blend this in here. I like how that um, looks. Spreading it out really, really thinly, um, wiping my spatula off as well. And then I want to add a bit more of the orange over, over here. I want some more of the orange um, in this area as well. Not too much, just um, just a little little touch. Uh, 
and then I want some of the Payne's Grey as well. Oh, you see that Payne's Grey with the gold looks absolutely gorgeous. Look, isn't that area there beautiful? So I am just going to keep on playing with my with my background. I want to have some gold just on that little white spot there as well. The gold is just beautiful. I hope the camera can um, pick pick it up. It's just absolutely lovely. Look at that. How interesting is that? This to me is looking absolutely beautiful at the moment. And I'm just trying to add just a tiny bit of contrast using the, the Payne's Grey, just in a, in a couple of areas. Again, just twisting my watercolour paper around and scraping, scraping back as well so that I don't end up with, um, with too much of it. I just want um, some at the top here. That looks really interesting. And I think I just want um, a little bit of the Payne's Grey across the top here as well. And then I think I'm going to leave it because I think sometimes you're in danger of, of spoiling it um, if you if you don't stop. See, of course, me being me, I can't stop. I'm just adding more of the blue as well. Just trying to bring all of these colours together. I love the way that this is, is looking. It's getting more and more interesting. But you've just got to be careful because, you know, there is a fine line you can you can overdo it if you're if you're not careful um, and I've done that many many times before so trust your instinct when you think it's time to stop stop a bit more over here as well and I think I'm going to leave that be what my background looks like now that all the business has been taken away so I'm just going to set this off to one side to dry I've still got loads of paint left so let's try another one I'd like to do one with more of the gold in the background I have um, cleaned my palette up because um, it had lots of the other colours in it and I didn't want um, anything too muddy going on but I just want to put some random blobs of gold over my background and a lot of this will end up being covered up, but I'm hoping that you'll still see some of that shine coming through. Again, twisting my piece of watercolour paper. You could use cardstock for this or mixed media paper. Um, it doesn't have to be watercolour paper at all. And if you don't have a palette knife, use um, uh, one of the store cards, you know, the room key card things. You could easily use one of those instead. Let's add of that gold around the edge I think it's really nice when um, you get quite a heavy layer around the edge of a piece let's see if we can perhaps do do that maybe some thicker thicker areas as well and then I think I want just blues and pinks in this one and I think I'm going to give this a quick dry before I go any further just so that um, I don't end up with a with a muddy a muddy mess it's dry now and the next color I'm going to add is some of this gorgeous fluorescent pink I just adore this color it's just beautiful and fabric paints you can use on paper it really doesn't matter I picked these up on clearance in TK Maxx several years ago and uh, you know hence they're starting to dry out now because I've had them for quite quite some time and it's just a shame for your supplies to go to waste. So if anybody else out there has been hooked on the collage um, obsession at the moment and has loads of acrylic paints and crafts and, you know, art supplies, dig them out. Come on, let's um, let's get arty. That looks lovely. Um, then we can add, let's add some of this, um, this lighter, lighter blue. And when you scrape it back as well, it leaves this really lovely texture because I'm using a textured um, watercolour paper. It's picking up the texture that's in the background, which um, just gives interest as well. And let's turn it round to this 
direction. Those colours working really nicely together. Scrape, scrape the rest of that off and then I just want to add some of this um, darker shade of blue as well. That's a beautiful colour too. And if we get spots of white left behind, that's fine. Just just playing, playing and having having lots of fun. And you could do this 10 times in a row and you would end up with a completely different background every time you did it. You'll never end up with the same look twice. I love the way that this one looks and I'm just adding a few lines, um, just using a cut up piece of a credit card just in a couple of different places, just to add some touches like this. Love how that looks. It's got a few blobs in it and I'm okay um, with, with that. I'm just again working off that same, same palette, just trying to use up some, some of this paint. Let's see if we can just add a touch more gold just in that corner corner there using a smaller piece of um, credit card. I love that. You see now that I've started I just I just can't stop myself. Some here as well we've got some gold gold here and I just want to highlight that a little bit more as well. This is going to be gorgeous. I've now got to decide what on earth I'm going to uh, do with it, of course. But just look how pretty, how pretty that is. These are both now dry enough for me to work on them. I love them. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. They're grungy and mm, scrumptious. Haven't done this um, kind of thing for such a long time. And look at the backs as well. I love the backs. Really messy, but the colours are just beautiful. I am going to tape these together using um, a piece of masking tape. And you'll see why in a second. I just think that I'm going to get a more random look for the next step if I tape these together. I've screwed that up. Um, let me just do it um, like this so that these are butted together. There we go, that will do fine. I'm just going to trim off that um, excess as well, otherwise um, my paint brushes are just going to get stuck um, in it. So let me just trim this off. This is just um, a temporary um, fix together. So let's just trim this and let's see what um, what fun we can create um, with this little duo. Now I've decided I want to paint some abstract flowers onto both of these backgrounds and I've pulled out some circles to get me started. I've got a couple of different foam dabbers here as you can see and I've also got one of my stamping sponges. You could use bottle lids, you could even paint circles, they don't have to be sort of circle shapes so this is what I'm going to be using. I've also also got some makeup brushes as well. I bought these um, a long time ago, um, well probably three years ago or so. I'm pretty sure that I got these from um, the pound shop and I just like the um, shape of the brushes and I thought these would be great for painting petals. I've also got this one here which I don't know whether you can see is sort of kind of um, slanted. Now it looks as if these are all different brands which makes me sure that I got these from the pound shop. Some of them might have come, um, well this one clearly he here came in a pack of two so that's what I'm going to be using but raid your makeup brushes if you don't wear makeup um, anymore use what you have watercolour brushes you know use what you have. I'm just going to start off by trying one flower to start off with and see um, what I end up with. I've just got um, a palette here this is an old kitchen tile and I'm just going to dab my sponge into my, my paint want to make sure that it's one and truly covered so that um, I get a good stamped stamped image and uh, try not to overthink it Nina where it goes there we go plonk it plonk it down I'm going to twist as well just to make sure that um, I get plenty of paint um, on there I like that in fact actually um, let's do a couple more as well we'll have one um, over here I don't know whether you can um, see this I hope I've um, still got 
enough paint on that on that sponge. I'm just going to start off um, with two to start off with. Let's just add a bit more bit more paint. Yeah, I like that. I'm just going to do this one again as well because I've got a bit here with with paint missing. I'm really happy with that. Let me just move that out of the way. Now, what size paintbrush do I want to use? Let's um let's grab the larger one. And I'm going to use some of this fluorescent pink. Now, I've pulled out another one of these pots. I had two um, of these. Oh, we've got a hair in this one here. Oh, my goodness me. My hair gets into absolutely everything. It drives me round the twist. So let's just put um, a little bit of that down. And let me just um, grab a piece of kitchen towel as well, just to wipe that off my finger and what I'm going to do in fact I'm wondering whether I perhaps need a bit of water as well just to thin this down hang on have I got some because this paint is quite thick I'm just going to add a splash um, of water just to thin it out ever so slightly and what I'm going to do is just go all the way around like this we can tidy up where it goes a bit funny around the edges in a second that's absolutely okay but I'm just going to keep twisting my page round and let's just create some abstract flowers I really like the texture that I've got from this as well um, let's do another pink one thing because I've still got loads of um, this paint paint left maybe do some bigger bigger petals this this time and I'm just dragging the makeup brush down. Let's also add um, a touch of the blue into the equation as well. So we've got the blue and the pink. Can see that I've tried it here that was by accident um, messing with things and I thought oh I like that in fact I like this one better because I haven't got quite so much of the blue just a touch of it but it just makes the flowers look um, a bit more interesting I could even go over these ones here with the pink um, again it's making it more of a, a purple color I'm just playing here, just just having having fun. Next up, I've got Payne's Grey and some of the lighter blue. Let's start off with this lighter blue. Again, I need to add a, a splash of water. These are really starting to get um, quite quite thick now. Let's just make sure I've got plenty of paint on my sponge. And where do I want that to go? Let's have one here and in fact actually what I'll do um, is add some of the Payne's Grey next to that not bothering to wash the sponge because I'm going from a lighter colour to a dark and let's have one over here and we'll leave that in fact I think I'll add a third one as well. Maybe we can have one. Let's have a look here, perhaps. Try not to overthink where you're placing um, these because they'll be more random that way. Now, let's start off with the, again, let's just add a squirt more, more paint, uh, more water, just to thin the paint down. And I'm using this funny shaped makeup brush to start off with. And I'm just going to go around like this. And we can add some doodles on top of this and really go to town with these. We just want fun, interesting shapes. In fact, let's try this um, makeup brush here and see if we can get some um, interesting shapes with them um, with these. I'm going to start slightly higher up and just try and bring it down to, to a point in the same way that I did with the watercolour flowers I did um, the other week. And I'm t 
turning my paper as well, just because I find that um, that easier. And with this one, I'm using the paintbrush um, on the side, just so that they're a little bit um, thinner, just so that we've got lots of different um, different shapes. I've altered the shape of this one here. I didn't like the um, shape of the petals. I want to introduce some orange as well. Um, this orange is going to have to go in the bin after this. It's um, it's spent. It's just so thick. Use up your paints um, because they don't last forever and it's a shame to waste them. And I think I'm also going to introduce another colour. This is um, rose pink or Persian rose. It's, um, let's have a look, an Amsterdam acrylic. I think this will look quite nice. I don't usually, um, like, whoops, Daisy, that's just um, splattered everywhere. I don't usually like to introduce more colours than I've used in the in the background, but we have got sort of kind of um, a lilac-y colour um, that's come from where some of the colours have blended. I'm going to use the smaller paintbrush again. I've just gone and, um, and washed this. Um, let me just add a bit of water, thin it down just a, just a tad, maybe a bit more. Um, these Amsterdam paints are quite um, heavy, heavy bodied, medium to heavy, heavy bodied. And what do I want to do? Don't overthink what you're doing. Just adding some really basic, basic shapes. Let, let's have these ones some um, closer, closer together, though. let's add some pink ones um, as well let's have one hanging off the off the page and we'll have another one here and then I need to think of what um, I want to do just to fill that space there let me do these first and then I'm sure um, that something will spring to mind um, I think I am going to add cerise pink um, again. I've decided to pull out um, this brush here. And let's just add some daisy-like petals. Those are cool. I like those a lot. Let's just add one off there. And I'm just going to add a couple of, of these flowers. Um, we've got the other one that I'm going to add um, over, over here. You can see I'm just doing another one and for the shape of these, I'm just wiggling that same makeup brush. And that's giving me a really cool petal Petal shape. It's amazing what you can do with a cheap set of um, makeup brushes. Look how pretty that's looking. Now, I've still got loads more that I want to do to this, but I need to wait for the paint to dry. I'd like to add um, loads of doodles to these flowers, um, but, you know, I can't. If I if I do it too soon, I will wreck um, the, the pens that I plan on using. So I'm just going to be patient and set this off to one side um, for it to dry. Just look at that gold shimmer that you can see. It's just so pretty. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'd like to add um, touches of gold, I think, to this as well. So I will be back with a part two. Okay, I'm so happy with this. And that was so satisfying um, knowing that I've used up um, some of these paints. These jars are both empty now. So I'm really pleased about that because um, these would have set rock solid if I hadn't have um, used them up. I'm really glad that we're doing the Let's Get Arty prompt this year as well, because it really is encouraging me to bring out my old art supplies and start using them again. And I hope that it inspires um, you too. For anybody that wants to follow along with our prompts and challenges, I will leave the link to the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium, in the description box below. So if you want to have a go at this and share your ideas, please do feel free to come along and join us. Just be aware that we are a prompt related group. Um, so anything non prompt related just gets deleted. Um, just to let you know as well, there is no uh, video from Kylie again this week as she is still still feeling poorly but hopefully she'll be back um, next week but if you've enjoyed today's video
video as always i'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below um and thanks for watching take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon bye for now